I believe he is who they refer to as the K-I-N-G King! Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the McFans Toys Grimlock! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Grimlock. His name is Grimlock. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> on the top of the box, we have Grimlock on the side of the box here. We have the uh, Dinobots. On the other side of the box, we have Grimlock and Dinosaurs. On the back of the box, we have our obligatory product shots, bloody bloody bloody. On the bottom, words and things that I cannot read, bloody bloody bloody. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Grimlock, and uh, this is the last of McFans Toys knockoffs of the DX9 Dinobots, and um, yeah, this, this one's quite cool in my opinion. So, here he is in his Dino mode, as you can see, very G1-y, looks really, really good in my personal opinion. So let's get in close here, so we're going to take a look. At that dino noggin, lots of beautiful silver throughout this toy, as well as gold. You get some nice metallic blue there for the eyes. You also get some nice red, some more of that beautiful gold. Transclearance, smoky plastic right there for what will be Grimlock's chest piece. Got the claws there, painted in gold. Got some green. Some red, some more of that metallic blue. Yeah. Quite, quite nicely done, in my opinion. Me likes, me likes. Now, articulation-wise, the head can move up and down. The mouth can open and close, and there's even a little, little flamethrower in there as well. Uh, the arms are on a ball joint at the base, so they can do a full 360, can move in and out, and that's basically it for this set of arms anyway, but we'll talk more about that in a little bit. As far as the legs go, the legs can do a full 360, they can move in and out. You got rotation there at the knee. Uh, the knee joint does bend the opposite way due to the way he transforms, but you can always just turn that around and get that going the right way if you wanted to, but then his foot is backwards, but hey, it is what it is. As far as the tail goes, you do have a hinge right here that can move down, and the tip of his tail can move up and down. Now, as I just mentioned, uh, the dino arms are just on a ball joint at the base and they don't have any other articulation, but you do get an optional set of uh, dino arms that do have articulation. They do have an elbow joint as well as wrist rotation. So you have the option here for what kind of dino arms you want for Grimlock. And these just pop right off. They're just on ball joints. So you can pop these off, pop the new arms on. And there you go. Now you have articulated arms here. Oops. <laughs> the hands are just pegged in and sometimes they'll come off. But yeah, now you have articulated arms here for Grimlock. And now you can pose him. Hooray. He's fancy. There you go. So <laughs> you have the option there. And as always, options are good. So there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with the Power of the Primes, Voyager Grimlock. So you can see how that works out. You can see how this toy scales. And here he is with the G1 Grimlock, because it's precious! So, so precious. And now we can finally bring in his other Dinobot buddies. And we can finally... Get the band back together. Bring in Lord Swoopington. There you go. There you have your Dinobots. And that is a really good looking set of Dinobots. In my personal opinion. I love them. I love them. Now he does include some accessories for Dino Mode. Other than uh, the uh, optional arms here. You do get the, uh, the helmet. 
So you can recreate that one thing from that one episode of the cartoon if you want. Just done. All in silver. And just plops down onto his head. Doesn't actually stay on. It's, there's, there's really... I've tried to get it to stay on and it doesn't really... If you push it down, it just kind of pops itself back up. So I think it's maybe more just meant to just kind of rest up there. But hey, there you go. Hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And uh, you get a fish. A little silver fish here. There you go. Let's take it. Put it in his mouth. In case he gets hungry. There you go. <laughs> hey. Ah! Don't play with your food, Grimlock! Don't play with your food. You eat your food. Anyway. There are other accessories, but they are for robot mode. So speaking of robot mode, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! I knew that wasn't going to work, but I, I did it anyway. Right. So, first thing we are going to do is we're just going to take the demo head here, just bring that back, unclip that. You can take this whole upper body assembly here, it's on a double hinge, just bring that up, and that will make life a lot easier to get these two halves in here split apart. Just take that and bring that back like so. You do need the sword to help you with this part of the transformation. The instructions even tell you. Um, so first thing you want to do is you want to open up this panel right here. You want to bring the dino head all the way down and you can see it's a little opening right here. That's where his head is. And you just want to use a sword and just kind of push his head up like so. Just bring that up and you close that panel back down. And then you can just bring this down like so. And this will just hang out here for now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to unpeg this whole tail assembly from the body like so. So you just pegs in right there. Bring that down. And then you take this chest assembly here and this will come up like so. And this will rotate around, get things out of the way, rotate all that around, and you can take this whole, whoops, lost an arm, stay in, and then you just take this whole assembly here, bring that up, and that will all just clip in right there, and we pretty much got the upper body all done, so let us continue with the legs here, so you just want to split the legs, you want to take this whole assembly here, and bring that down like so, Take the leg, swing it down like that. Take the tip of the tail, bring it down, then collapse this in and then close all this back up. And then you rotate the leg at the thigh and there you have a leg all done. Second fast, just like the fast. Just bring that down, swing that around, bring that down, collapse, close, twist, twist. And you got the legs all done. And we are at the home stretch here. So now we're just going to take the fists. You can see they're just on sliders here. So you just extend the fists out and then rotate the arms so the elbows are oriented properly. Got that all done. Same thing on the other side. Just pop out the hand, rotate down like so. And you can come back here to the dino arms and just kind of bring them down. You know, you can have those positioned however you want. I just kind of bring them down just to kind of get them out of the way. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo, we're done. And there you go. There you have Grimlock in his robot mode. And a very good looking Grimlock in my opinion. Very g one I just really, really dig this figure. Very cool. So that's getting closer so we can take a look, not at his chest, at his noggin. There it is. You can see. Very nicely done head sculpt, in my opinion. You got that metallic blue there for the visor. Yeah, nice head sculpt going on. Again, you got that smoky transclearing plastic there. And you got a spot there for a, uh, a repro label for an Autobot sticker right there. Yeah, nice detail. Love the gold that they used on this figure, on all these figures. This looks gorgeous in my opinion. Again, all that nice silver going on. Got some silver there in the waist area. Some nice details there in the thighs. 
big old feet. Moving up the back, you can see, very clean, just the typical kind of Dinobot backpack. So yeah, I likes, ah, likes. Now articulation wise, the head can rotate or can do a full 360. He can't really look up, but he can look down a little bit. Arms, move the wings out of the way. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You got rotation right above the elbow. You have slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow, nothing at the wrist. Uh, you do have a waist joint, but it's it's weird the way it works because what happens is the waist is connected to all of this here. So when you turn the waist, you're, you're turning, you can see how this works, like the chest moves independently of the waist, but the head doesn't go with it. So it's it's kind of weird how this works because you, you're basically you're not really turning his waist you're just turning his chest so it's really the chest that's moving not the waist it's the chest that's moving around and that's kind of weird you know i mean you can still make that work when you're posing but it's just that is kind of weird how how that works so you know not really not really waist rotation technically it is but it's more chest rotation but you know Hey, it is what it is. Like I said, you can't make it work. It's just, it's just kind of weird. Now the hips are on a ball joint. Legs can go forward that far, back that far. Now word, you can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, and you do have ankle tiltage there. Now as far as accessories for robot mode goes, you do get some weaponry. You do get Grimlock's gun. There's a good old double barrel blaster there, just cast in black plastic, but very nicely done. You can take that, that just plugs right into his hand, and he does hold that very securely, so we can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. So you got that going on, and you do also get his sword, just done in all red, transclearing plastic, and as always, you get an optional silver painted sword. You can give him either or. You got the option, and as always, options are good. But me personally, I always give them the uh, the transparent swords. Give him that. There you go. He can pew pew slash slash pew pew slash slash. So you got that going on right there. And of course, what is Grimlock without his crown? Right here, just done in gold. And you can just take that and just plop it on his head. Like so. Doesn't go down any lower than that, so it looks a little weird, but hey! You can give him his crown. There you go. Me Grimlock King! There you go. Yay! So, there you have that. And now, for comparison! Here he is with Power of the Primes, Voyager Grimlock. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with G1 Grimlock, because it's precious! He's floppy, but he's still precious. And now let's get the band back together here. Hopefully I can get them all in frame. I'm gonna try. I will do my best. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. So there you have all of your mech fans toys, Dinobots, and that's a good looking set in my opinion. I think all these figures just look great. So there you have Grimlock, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a well done figure. It's a knockoff, but it is a well done knockoff. The figure itself just looks gorgeous in my opinion. Love the coloration on it. The transformation is nice and smooth and enjoyable. Quality-wise, the figure feels just good, solid, sturdy. Nothing feels fragile, nothing feels flimsy, nothing feels cheap. This feels like a good quality figure. So all in all, very well done. Me likes, me likes very much. And, and I said this in all of these reviews. You know, if the Power of the Primes Dinobots weren't doing it for you, then maybe this is something you want to take a look at. Maybe it's something to consider. 
So there you go. Now I picked this up from TF Direct. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my knockoff Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Mech Fans Toys Grimlock, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, pull in your face. Okay, this is not a good situation for me. Um, help, help! Ah, wave! There you are. Having fun? Yes, I'm having a ball. No, I'm not having fun! Will you help me, please? Sure, 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 I'll help you, but, uh, first you have to answer one question. Anything fine, what is it? Did you eat my last burrito? But, I, with the, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. The last special made burrito that was just for me. I was saving it for a special occasion. Did you eat it? I, 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 I may have, okay? I may have. Now, will you help me? No. Oh, you, you, you know something makes you take burritos way too seriously. Way too seriously. Help me!